going on everybody, and welcome to part 22 of my playthrough for Pokemon Blue. In the last episode, we saved the world from Team Rocket. Well, at least Sylph. We, we saved Sylph, and kind of Saffron City as a whole. But uh, in this episode, we're going to be taking on the two gyms, yes, two, of Saffron City. Now, the right one will actually yield a badge. It's the actual, you know, real gym. This gym is something a little different. If we head in here... Fighting Dojo. It's, a, it's, it's, it's still technically a gym, but we won't yield any badges. Let's check out this guy. I wonder what kind of Pokemon they could possibly have. You're trespassing in our fighting dojo. So I thought about just like cutting through these guys or, you know, speeding up with music or something, but I decided I'd just fight them all for the sake of fun. Yeah, it's someone like that. <laughs> uh, Mega Drain should work pretty good against this, I think. Yeah, it's just as I thought. You know, usually, like, like I said before, like, you know, everyone can think of weaknesses like water beats fire, fire beats grass, grass beats water. Other weaknesses I kind of forget. I'm no Pokemon Pro. I try to know a lot of stuff, but I'm no pro. But I always kind of like this gym. It is completely optional. You do not have to go here. It's it's totally up to you. And you don't actually have to fight all these guys either, I don't think. Maybe you do. I, I can't remember. But it's it's really not too difficult here. Actually, this is pretty not a bad place to level up if you didn't fight every single Rocket member like I didn't. So that's why I will be fighting every single one of them. But I probably will cut... Like the last fight, I don't know, because it's the, as you can see, all the trainers here are gonna have like fighting type Pokemon. Like Pokemon you could imagine would be in a fighting type gym, like uh, Primate, which I don't have. We seen Primate before? I can't remember. I always thought it was like a pig, like a bush pig. I, I don't know, <laughs> kind of funny. But uh, Primate's actually not a bad Pokemon either. If you were looking for something like that, Primate's actually a really good Pokemon. I do recommend it. And then they have Pokemon like you know Machop, Machoke, all those kind. Black Belt. Oof! I give up. <laughs> Room received money. As you can see, we just go through a couple guys here. I hear you're good. Show me your moves. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Let's see. If this guy has like a carbon copy of the guy before him, see Machop. You're gonna see Machoke, Mankey. You're gonna see those kind of Pokemon because those are the only real fighting Pokemon in this game. And that's still not a pretty bad list. So I think, yeah, I'll just show this last fight because I really like. Uh, I'm not sure that anything is super effective against fighting. I'm sure there is, but. You know, I'll look it up to see if it is. It'll appear here in the video now, because I'm good like that. But uh, I don't think anything is. But I, then again, I'm probably wrong. Machoke. And actually, uh, Machoke's final form, Machamp. Yeah, it's Machamp. Ah, I remember that. Even though it was one of the lesser Pokemon that I never think about. is actually a pretty good uh, physical attacker, and I would recommend it. Defense fell. As if you can stop me. And actually, um, Steve is a particularly good matchup. Not just because he has some good moves, but as you can see, Karate Chop, a fighting type's best move, is useless against a ghost Pokemon. That's why I like Steve. His ability is kick-ass. Eh, you know, I was going to cut this, but I figured, why not? We're probably not going to get out of Saffron this episode. This episode will probably be a little bit on the short. I figure we'll just take on the two gyms, and then we'll move out of Saffron. Actually, we'll move out of our comfort zone completely, and go on to somewhere new, which it's been a little while. Wow, level 36 Primate? Let's not mess around with this, huh? Confuse Ray, and then we're going to try to put to sleep. Fury swipes. Yeah, see, none of none of their moves is going to be effective against Steve. It's really the only reason I'm using him. It's actually, <laughs> it, it feels kind of cheap, but really, you know, if you're only going to have, that's that's why you never want to have one type of Pokemon. You never just want to have, like, this type of Pokemon, because there'll always be something to counteract it. That's what the team is all about, you know, be a team, work as a team, Pokemon love, together forever. I don't even know if that's, like, a real song. And, oh, come on, dude killing me here. Even though I can't even do anything. Uh, we're gonna use up our nightshades. I need to get, like, more PP for nightshade. Black belt. And I love how they're all black belt. Yow. Yo. Oh, yow. <laughs> Stubbled my fingers. <laughs> I don't even know. I lost the accent there. Or whatever accent I was going after. Hog! Take your shoes off. Wh what? Okay, that sounds... Oh, uh, inexplicable. Like, I don't know. Wrong. Mankey. Alright, come on, Mankey. You got nothing. Confuse Ray. Yeah, it's probably just better to confuse them and not put them to sleep because this way they'll hurt themselves. Like, it's just kind of a better system when you stop and think about it. Oh, yeah. Grass-type moves. Probably the only grass-type move I'm ever going to have on my team, but, you know. And another Mankey. Yeah, because the first one went so well. I, I always love how people, like, I don't know, AI was like, yes, my exact same carp <laughs> carpet copy. It's going to work better than the first one. No, no it won't. But Primate, Primate's a pretty deadly Pokemon. Obviously, matchup against Steve is a really bad matchup for it, but... You know, as long as you don't do that. 
I think it'll be okay. And, well, I hope we can take it out. We're not going to have anything left for the last dude. As as you could imagine, the last guy is going to be not difficult, but harder than the rest. Oh, boy. And, yeah, wow. Uh, I'll, I'll make it difficult. I won't use Steve for the last fight. He just got, he just swept everyone here. I don't think he took a single hit of damage. Damn, Steve. All right, now the world's looking around like, what, did, did that 11-year-old kid really just beat us? Uh, let's do Tauros. Give him a shot. Walk up here. <laughs> I am the Karate Master. I am the leader here. You wish to challenge us? Expect no mercy. Fwa! What are you, like, Koga? Fwa? Everyone does Fwa now? Now, this guy actually has two semi-rare Pokemon. I, you know, they're they're like the epitome of fighting Pokemon. You got Hitmonlee. Now, a funny story is, I was going to choose Hitmonlee over Tauros. I know, Tauros is giving me a look right now, like, excuse me? <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I almost thought about Hitmonlee because Hitmonlee is actually one of my favorite Pokemon. It's a really good fighting type, and it's more offensive. Whoa, that's why I wanted Hitmonlee. It's more off... Oh, no, 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 no! Tauros! Oh, God. He was like, oh, I'm sorry, Tauros. I shouldn't have said that out loud. Not in front of Hitmonlee. That was embarrassing for Tauros. I, I apologize. I'll take him out for ice cream later. Ah. Uh, but, yeah, Hitmonlee is actually a very offensive, physical fighting type Pokemon, and I... You know, it's really good, and I really recommend it. Now, Hitmonchan is, again, like the epitome of fighting type, but it's a more defensive fighting type. It's still pretty good, and as their names apply, Hitmonchan only punches, Hitmonlee only kicks. And there's a joke behind them, like, you know, one is Bruce Lee, and one is, uh... I don't think it's... I think it's, uh... Is it Jackie Chan? I think it's Jackie Chan. Yeah, Hitmonchan? Yeah, I think so. I think it's Jackie Chan and Bruce Lee. That's, like, the joke behind him. Beaten. Like everyone else here. <laughs> Indeed, I have lost. But I... Beach? <laughs> what? Beach you? Do not take our emblem as your... Okay. Uh, yeah. He... And then, this is the cool part. The two Pokemon we just fought, Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan, they're right here. Now... I, <laughs> I thought about just leaving them here. Uh, I'll take Hitmonlee. Because I always do. That's what I do, the kicking Pokemon. Now, obviously, like, you could just, um... This is where, like, two games come in where you need two games to trade in to get both Pokemon, if you wanted them. But I I would say Hitmon Lee over Hitmon Chan. You know, not that Bruce Lee is better than Jackie Chan, but, you know. I will take him. I'm not going to use him on my team, even though I was seriously considering it. I already chose Tauros, and that's already sealed. So yeah, that's the dojo. I always kind of like this gym. It's optional, but it's up to you, and you can get a, two pretty cool Pokemon there. Alright, so I'm going to go heal up at the Pokemon Center, and I will meet you guys back at the real gym in just a second. Okay, and here we are at Saffron City Gym. Now, heading in, this is actually my second favorite gym, like for the layout and everything. We got Saffron City Pokemon Gym Leader, Sabrina. And I always like Sabrina. Like, in the anime, she scared me, but we're in Trainer's John. Bullshit. Uh, this guy. Yo, champ in the making. Sabrina's Pokemon use psychic power instead of force. Oh, wait. For, for, uh, forget it. Fighting Pokemon are weak against... Okay, that explains it. I'm not even going to put it in later. Fighting Pokemon are weak against Psychic. It's funny that the Fighting Gym is right next to the Psychic Gym. So, yeah, your new team member, if you did pick up one, wouldn't be no good. They get Cream before. Honestly, <laughs> like, nothing is good against Psychic. Really, I'm serious. Like, it's so overpowered in this generation, and later generations, too. Now, I think we can sneak by this guy. Now, I'm, I know I could go through and fight every single one in here. I, I don't feel like it. You can sneak by these trainers. I think the fastest way is to do this. Uh, and then up. And then down left. Oh, I was right, and I did not look that up. I remembered that from being a kid. Wow, I did not look that up at all. That is awesome. And Sabrina's sprite really doesn't match her, but... All right, bring it on. Let's talk to her on the side. I don't know why. <laughs> I had a vision of your arrival. I have had psychic powers since I was a child. Alma? I first learned to bend spoons with my mind. It's attractive, baby. I dislike fight, fighting, but if you wish, I will show you my powers. And the battle with Sabrina. This is kind of like, in my opinion, not a pushover fight. Sabrina, why does she have a whip? Uh, never mind. Uh, Sabrina sent out Kadabra. Kadabra? <laughs> Uh, I always love that anime fight, but, um, honestly, I don't feel like this is a pushover fight. Like, I'm gonna come at her full force here. Because, uh, her... Oh, wow. I, I, like I said, piece of cake. Don't worry about it. When you got Tauros on your side. 
Now, Mr. Mimon, I think she she should have Alakazam, uh, or her most deadly Pokemon, and I would be very careful with them. Kadabra and Abra. Obviously, Abra's going to be pushed over. Kadabra shouldn't be too bad, but Mr. Mime... Uh, if you're using special attacks, like I'm not, I'm using physical because that's the only thing Psychic or Weak do. Not like a type advantage, but between uh, special and physical, Psychic have a really, really low physical defense. So that's why I'm using Tauros. Oh, she has, she has Venomoth? Koga should have Venomoth. Oh, this is so screwed with my brain. Uh, like, I play tested this game in yellow, and it's a little different in yellow. Uh, that's not going to do anything to him. Let's switch out to uh, Zippo. Even though it's a Psychic type, Venomoth is half Psychic. Oh, God. It's uh, also a bug, and it's going to be weak to fire. <laughs> oh, I didn't do as much as I thought it would. Oh, sweet. Oh, God, because Zippo... I don't know, Zippo's got a thing where he gets poisoned. Oh, he gets poisoned all the time. Zippo, I'm sorry, man. Like, even back in Vermilion Forest. Ver Viridian Forest, right? Viridian. Ah, you can tell. This is why I don't like to space episodes out so much, but sometimes I just don't have much of an option. Alakazam, yes. This is the one I would tell you to watch out for. We're going to switch back to... Actually, Steve wouldn't be a too bad of a matchup unless he got hit with a direct blast, because then he's had poison. Uh, Tetra. Let's go with Tetra. I feel like being uh, lucky. I don't know. Uh, Horn Drill. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, God. He's faster. Now, this, this Alakazam... That is proof. This Alakazam has given me trouble in the past. He can sweep your team if you are not careful. I'm going to switch out to Steve, see if I can put him to sleep. Oh, boy. Oh, we're not going to survive that. If, if Tetra didn't survive that, we're not going to survive that. This is where things can get tricky. All right, I'm going to be really careful here. All right, um... All right, let's send our own. Professor X. Professor X versus Alakazam. Who is the better? Let's find... Recover? Oh, I see how it's going to be, dude. Ha! How do you like that? Dig. Oh, you jerk. You jerk. You know what? Two could play at that game, so be careful. Sabrina. You jerk. <laughs> Seismic Talk probably won't do anything. Dude! <laughs> I hate it when AI spam recovering moves. That did the same amount of damage. Great. Dude! <laughs> Alright, seriously. Like, if this keeps up, I'm just gonna, like, speed this up or something. Don't you dare. Oh, you... I, I have some choice words for you, but I try to keep my language, like, PG-13 for... A game that I believe would be rated PG-13. Even though game ratings aren't the same as movie ratings, that kind of thing. Alright, I'm going to cut this out until he stops spamming recover. Ah! <laughs> you jerk! Oh. My God. Oh, you got to be kidding me. I ran out of PP for my move, but he didn't run out of PP for his? Alright, I think he's finally out of recover. That that went on for a really long time. Now he's just spamming reflect. I can't believe he's not using Psybeam. Well, it doesn't matter, because sometimes that Alakazam can be trouble, but not this time, other than the fact that we had, like, a recovering stall out for no reason. Ah, uh, Yoshimitsu gained, Professor X gained, and Roman defeated Sabrina. I'm shocked, but a loss is a loss. I admit, I didn't work hard enough to win. You earned the Marsh Badge. I never served a lot of money. <laughs> the Marsh Badge makes Pokemon up to level 70 obey you. Now, I've never actually had a Pokemon any higher than, like, level 80 legit. I'll explain what I mean at the end of the game. But, uh, yeah, 70, and you're pretty much set. Stronger Pokemon will become wild and ignore your orders in battle. Yes, we know. We already went through that. Just don't raise your Pokemon too much. That doesn't even make sense. Wait, please take this TM with you. Receive TM-46. TM-46 is Psy Wave. It's a very powerful psychic attack. Uh, I can't exactly remember what Psy Wave does right now, but I think it is a decent one. But, uh, let's, let's, let's get out of here. Oh, God. <laughs> We're poisoned. All right, uh, I figure if you just keep toiking, uh, taking rights, maybe go up here, uh, right here. No, <laughs> I had an easier time getting into the gym than I'm going to have getting out. You know what, I'll just meet you guys on the outside. When in doubt, just use dig. That's the trick to all special things, right? Yeah. So I'll think about teaching that new TM to uh, Alakazam Professor X later. But yeah, I think it's going to do it for this episode. I'm sorry if it, it, it like ends up being shorter, but and we didn't really seem like we did much, but the two gyms actually do take a little while, and I wanted to kind of get them in, because I, I do like them. And that is going to close out Saffron City, so in the next episode, we'll be exploring to some new, unknown, distant land. So until then, I thank you guys for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, let me know. And until next time, I'll catch you later.